In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Caster Labs Caffeinated, an all-in-one solution that combines your chat, your events, alerts, and all that stuff from all these different platforms into one unified solution. Before we dive into today's content, let's go ahead and pause for a moment to consider the value of making smart decisions. Speaking of which, we're thrilled to once again partner with Mint Mobile, the pioneers in transforming the wireless industry. They're dedicated to providing premium wireless service without that hefty price tag we've all come to dread. Ever find yourself puzzled by the sky-high cost of your wireless bill? Well, if so, Mint Mobile is on a mission to demonstrate that there's a smarter way to do things. For a limited time, new customers can enjoy any three-month plan for just $15 a month. That's correct. You were hearing that correctly. 50% off their unlimited plan. Imagine accessing the nation's largest 5G network, enjoying unlimited talk and text, and all the benefits of a high-tier wireless experience at half the cost. The transition to Mint Mobile is a breeze thanks to their eSIM technology. Many of you can seamlessly switch over from the comfort of your home in as little as 15 minutes. And for those of you that prefer a physical SIM card, Mint Mobile's got you covered there with a free SIM sent directly to your doorstep. Let go of the old, overpriced, and convoluted ways of wireless. Head over to trymintmobile.com forward slash how to tech to snag this incredible offer and get premium wireless for just $15 a month. My wife and I jumped on the Mint Mobile bandwagon over a year ago, and we've been fans ever since. Who can resist the allure of significant savings? What's going on guys, Chad here from HowTo Media, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Caster Labs Caffeinated. This is a really neat program I happened to stumble across, and I was mainly looking for some ability to do multi-streaming, but also to not have to pay for the, um, you know, the combination of chat and all those extra features that typically other companies are going to charge you quite a bit of a markup on to do those things. And that's kind of how I ended up on Caster Labs. And I also found, you know, multi-streaming for only $4, which is actually a really, really good deal. I'll have that video linked as well if you guys want to check that out. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and take a look at Caster Labs in all of its glory so you guys can see how useful and interesting this program can be for you for, you know, whatever you're doing with, you know, say YouTube live stream, Twitch live stream, Trovo, all these other platforms, all just uh, mixed together. Make your community just come together as one. All right, so now we're over at the computer and this is Caster Labs caffeinated. And like I said, we do have two options here. We've got the ability to multi-stream and then we've got the main product here. And Caster Labs is pretty neat because we'll kind of go through this really briefly before we log in and set up our own. But we basically have free widgets and alerts for multi-streaming with no silly OBS forks, no ads, no um, yeah, no ads in chat, no dumb subscriptions or anything like that. And you could just download this on your computer if you've got Windows 10 or up. And it's just a really simple interface. It's easy to use. And this is kind of a quick preview of what to expect here. And everything just kind of works off of OBS browser sources. So if you've used OBS browser sources before, uh, it's going to be pretty easy to follow along. And we can also see that um, we've got information on streaming your way. So we've got um, platforms that are supported, looks like Twitch, um, Trovo, YouTube, DLive, TikTok, and Kick. So that's pretty much most of the big platforms that anybody would be streaming on. And um, yeah, they just have integration for all of those. And um, it's actually, I think there's a few more that they've added uh, since then. And yeah, we can basically take all of our widgets and alerts that we want to set up and include events from all those different platforms to work in this one ecosystem. So basically just a little program that takes care of absolutely everything. And then they talk about some other stuff too. Um, everything you need free and easy, easy to use, free forever, no compromise sets are guarantee. So you can use your favorite TTS voices, so text to speech, um, developer friendly, custom emotes, integration with your favorite platform, Spotify integration, and more. And I can tell you right now, this tool has been getting worked on um, and it's just getting some good updates. So if this is something that interests you, um, maybe stay tuned. And if it's something you like, um, maybe go ahead and yeah, give it a shot and um, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. So now let's go ahead and get signed in to Caster Labs Caffeinated. Basically just go ahead and select whatever platform you want to get started with. I'm going to start with Twitch. So I'm going to click this button and go ahead and get signed in. And then I'll meet you over in uh, Caster Labs. So let's go ahead and get started now that we're here. And we can see that there's kind of like a little tutorial that walks us through um, 
and we've got a dashboard where we can go ahead and start adding panels to. So if we wanted to add a viewers list, we could add that in here. Um, and you can actually adjust this to say do two by two, um, four by four, and we can actually change this to uh, basically give us a view that lets us see our current chat for our live stream, um, viewers list. Um, and this is kind of similar to what your Twitch dashboard would be, but we're actually combining our dashboards for all of our different platforms that are connected together. So this is pretty neat. And you can, yes, scale this up, but for the sake of this video, I've got this window a little bit smaller so we can zoom in on things while we're talking about it. So we've got that there. We also have chat bots and we can set up this chat bot to essentially work with all of our platforms as well. We can set timers for automated messaging and then um, hide commands and stuff um, from the chat if we wanted to. So yeah, there, there we go. There's um, some very basic tools. And then um, let's talk about our widget and alerts. And we can get to that by basically clicking this plus here. And if you don't know how to add a browser source, you can click this here. And I, I love this, that this is built into the software. I don't even have to show you how to do it. You can literally click this button and it'll walk you through the entire process of adding in a browser source into OBS so you can go ahead and get these alerts or whatever you're trying to set up inside of there. Big props for putting a tutorial inside of your program. Just that much easier for the end users and that that's that's what's awesome about this. So yeah, we can click this plus and we can set up the different type of things that we want to set up. So if we want like a follower alert, we can do that. If we want subscription alerts, donation alerts, rate alerts, labels, um, labels are really good. They're kind of like considered tickers or labels is what they've been called in the past. And they would just sit like, say, um, on top of an element inside of your, say, overlay or something like that says recent followers. You can click that and click your recent follower label and then just have that sitting on screen with the most recent follower. Um, we can do in interactions through the chat, emoji rain, goals, all that other stuff, and um, cam widgets and now playing and all that other stuff too. Um, we'll come back to this in a second because I think this is important, but I also think it's very important that we talk about all the other features of why I think this is more than just something that can do that because it, it can do this um, just for one platform if you want to, but it can do it for a lot more platforms and it's pretty nice. So we also have our docs. Um, these docs you can copy and paste. Um, these are really useful for putting inside of um, OBS as a browser doc. And once again, they show you how to do that. So you can go to the browser doc, add a doc, copy this link, paste it in here after you give it a name then click apply and you can see that you now get a doc for the different things that we were talking about at the beginning so we can see that people have joined the chat um, if we wanted to use the viewers list we can do that or the chat blah 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 so basically all the stuff that you would get in this view we could actually set up inside of these docs and import them essentially into OBS so every single time you launch it it's just there and waiting for you which is really cool as well so now let's go into the settings because this is where I think this gets kind of fun. Um, there's a lot of different stuff that you can do in here. And actually, I'm seeing something new for the first time. I did not know they had coffee integration, which is actually kind of cool, too. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So we've got different themes. If you wanted to switch up the themes and the look, you can go through there. Um, we do have light and dark modes. And we also have the icons. We can actually change those if we wanted to. It's actually kind of neat. I did not know. Oh, man, that makes it hard to read once you change it. Uh, but yeah, you get different uh, icons that you can change and really um, make this look however you want. Um, this right here is not as important. This is where I would say things get really interesting. Um, we've got a few different options for connecting our live stream services. And we can connect Twitch, Trova, YouTube, DLive, Kick, and TikTok. And some of these are still in beta and are adding more and more features over time. But <clears throat> essentially, if you multi-streamed all these platforms, we can start integrating all this stuff together. So if somebody follows you on this platform and you want to be able to see it on your live stream, well, you don't have to have separate alerts for this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, you can literally set them all up to work together and um, just get in your queue of alerts. We also have different music services. So if you wanted to connect Spotify, you can. If you wanted to do Pretzel, that's an option. And then even if you wanted to use like your system sounds uh, for your music, you can do that too. Um, th this right here is, in my opinion, the bread and butter of being able to add all this together and know that your alerts for YouTube and Twitch are going to go ahead and show up in the same place is just absolutely amazing. So give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and connect um, YouTube as well so we can see some of those other features.
So now that I've got YouTube connected, we'll kind of move along and we'll come back to see how that can affect all the different options that we have whenever we're working on our um, alerts and all that stuff. So we also have a plugins folder. So if you happen to develop or know anybody that's working on plugins, um, they might be able to mess with the SDK on this and actually make plugins that integrate directly into Castor Labs Caffeinated. That's pretty neat. You don't typically see that on projects like this. Really neat to see that open um, integration and the ability for other people to work with this. Um, and then we've got um, all this information here. Um, yeah, so here's Castor Labs. Um, stupidly unsafe settings. Oh. We're clicking that. Yeah, we're, we're going to leave that checked. We'll, te we'll check that in a second. Um, and then it looks like it's opening up a tab called developer stuff. So we'll click on that. Um, yeah, so you can manually authenticate a program if you wanted to. So that's that's interesting. Um, not going to touch on that too much. <laughs> um, we can also set up Streamlab alerts. So if you have alerts set up for Streamlabs, here's where this will be useful. You might say, well, Chad, um, if you talked about that this can do Twitch, this can do YouTube and all this stuff, why would I want to set up Streamlab alerts? And that's a good question. If you still use Streamlabs for, um, say, your payment portal or if you for you know donations or if you use Streamlabs for people buying merch and you still want to have those alerts and things come through, Linking this is now going to give you the ability to set up all of that stuff and give you just a little bit more of a fine-tuned um, all-in-one location. So you can still use all the Streamlabs stuff um, in a specific way and then still have all your platforms specific for like Twitch and YouTube alerts for there as well. And then we also have um, Kofi or Coffee integration, which can also be used if you wanted to use that for, say, like your donations and alerts as well. Uh, there's some integration with that as well. So there we go. That That's the quick rundown of everything. And now we're going to go back to the widgets and alerts and start playing around. And this is where this gets kind of interesting because I believe we've already added in um, a few more different options since we added YouTube. Because there's a few different things that you can um, do on YouTube that you might not be able to do on Twitch. So we can actually go through and we can add in these things. Um, if you wanted to set up a simple follower alert, go ahead, um, set up the follower alert, add those in. And we can send like a test follow and we can see that's exactly what that looks like. So that's what our alert looks like if we wanted to say change the color to a blue we can see the preview there. We can up our font size. We can make our font more bold and bring the font size down if we wanted to. Let's see, do another test. Okay, I'm liking that. And let's bring that boldness up again. Yeah, see that's that's looking pretty good. So we can see that we've got a simple alert there. Um, and it's not just text, right? So we can see that we can also set a format for this as well. And uh, if I made this window a little bit bigger, that'd probably be easier to follow along with. Um, but essentially there's like a formatting and coding for how those formats work for the event follow. And then it's just displaying the name. And then we're adding our text to it as well. So we can see that it's got that. And then we can also set up audio alerts with it if we want specific sounds to play. And this is pretty much the standard for all of these alerts. So if you wanted to set these up, you can adjust these to however you want. And then we can have an alert image. So if you wanted to add an image to this, um, I'm going to go ahead and choose an image file real quick. All right, I added in the Castor Lab logo. And you can see if you had your own logo or whatever image you wanted to put there, it would show up at the top. And um, you can go ahead and integrate an image as well. And then we can also say that we want to use this because once again, this is a follow alert. People have the ability to say follow or, um, you know, on multiple platforms. So if you say a follow on Twitch isn't as important to you, you can turn it off and then consider a follow on YouTube to be a little bit different. I believe the following on YouTube is um, the paid version and then it's a little bit different compared to the subscriptions on YouTube. But YouTube has followers and subscribers now too, and Twitch has followers and subscribers. And I think the way they value them is actually the exact opposite. Um, Twitch is a follow is free on YouTube, a follow is paid and uh, vice versa. So um, you can go through and kind of set these up to these alerts, however you want and decide which ones you want to come through for which platforms. And then you can go ahead and test those as well. And uh, yeah, so you would do that and then you'd copy out that follower alert. And now you've got a new follower alert. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and say, do 
an alert for raids and all this other stuff, we can simply go through here and add all those different options in. And to add them to your stream, it's as simple as copying that. And then we can even set tag colors on these if we want. Um, so we can hide these or set these specific colors for say, these are my YouTube alerts and these are my Twitch alerts. Whatever you want to do, there's a lot of customization options here, and we can set that. And we can even set stuff like follower goals, so we can see that we'd have a preview for that. Um, we can see a now playing widget, um, so we could set that for like our music. Um, I'm trying to just go through these really quick so you guys can see what they look like. Um, a label. Um, you could set up a label for that and we can reset that if we wanted to. Um, there, there's just a lot of functionality, guys. I don't I don't want to sit here and go through absolutely every single setting because it'll just waste your time in that sense. Because if you understand what this does and you like what it does, well, it's here. It's ready for you um, to start using. So, yeah, guys, that is Caster Labs Caffeinated. This is an elite tool that is completely free and costs you no money. So if you live stream and you stream on multiple platforms, otherwise known as multi-streaming um, or simulcasting, whatever you want to call that, um, then maybe you should go ahead and um, check out Caster Labs Caffeinated just because it's going to make alerts easier. It's going to put everything all in one location. It's got docs that integrate directly into OBS for you so you can see all of your chat at once. That's cool. See all of your alerts at once. And um, yeah, we can basically integrate everything into one tool. And I will say this, um, something I didn't say a second ago, this is a very lightweight tool and I've not seen really any performance hit from running this on my computer at all. So really neat tool, really cool. Um, and like I said, if you guys want to check out um, a multi-streaming option that's only $4, then check out the Caster Labs multi-stream um, and this card over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Media, helping you take your media to the next level. I'm still I'm still workshopping what my outro catchphrase is um, after the name change. But yeah, guys, this has been Chad, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.